Happy Mother's Day, babe. Thank you, Rudy. It's my babe's first Mother's Day, y'all. How's it feel? I was very emotional this morning when I woke up because I got a lot of Happy Mother's Day messages. For real? And it just felt like really weird. It really felt weird? Yeah, but not like bad weird. It's just eye opening. Different perspective. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah, Mother's Day is usually a, uh, you know, a very, you know, tender subject for my bae. Um, um, because, you know, as y'all know, bae, you tell them. I don't want to. You don't want to? No. Why? You had it. Mm, I'm gonna let you tell them. No, because I don't want to cry, so you tell them. It's okay to cry. But it, I don't want to. I already cried this morning. I already cried enough, so. You had it. You fine. Well, she wants me to tell y'all, you know, so. I, I would rather her tell y'all, but hey, she wants me to. You know. But like I said, as far as like Mother's Day, usually I make sure I show my bae a lot of love on these days because they. You know, as we know, Bay's mother is not here with us anymore. So we, you know, give tribute to her on these days and we show, you know what I'm saying, as much love as we can to her. And I make, make sure I show the love to her, you know. So I really, you know, me, honestly, I cannot even imagine the feeling, you know, that Bay feels on these type of days. Uh, because obviously I, I cannot relate to that feeling. So I can't speak for her as well as I really want to, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm just very thankful that, you know, my baby is with us and she's as strong as she is because she's the mother of our child coming. And, you know, um, Bae's mom will live through her, through her mothering when, when she's, you know, mothering our son. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I can tell that, you know, by, you know, being in, the family for this long, what, seven years now, and, and being around her siblings, that her mom was a great mom with a lot of character and a lot of love, and I can tell that through them, you know what I'm saying? I'm very grateful for that. Bae's being her mom right now, though, her motherly instincts is kicking in, and she's getting us something to eat for the road. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, y'all, y'all know my baby, she love her some frosted dipped. What? Uh, you weren't even supposed to be here. <laughs> what are you talking about? What? What you mean, frosted dip? You ain't even supposed to know you got these. Let me have one. Y'all, she begged me to get her some of these, y'all, so I had to get her some. And she could not wait to come with me. So she can't even take a surprise. Dude. Yo, I literally, if only y'all knew how many times I sent him the picture of these. From, I sent him this picture. It's a specific person that makes them, and they're so good. I sent him this picture like five times last week. And my birthday's coming up, and I want cake from her, too. So yeah, shout out to Strawberry Mama for these on Instagram. Go follow her and get you some. <laughs> if you're in Houston, get you some some dipped strawberries or some cake. So whatever. Yeah, she, she got makes, all the she treats. She always makes all of our treats and cakes. Yeah. She got us together for my baby's um, birthday the first year that we was out here. No, the second year we was out here. And then she got us together for our baby's baby shower. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, baby wants a cake for her birthday. So we're going to make it happen. Y'all, I tried to... You know, surprise her, but hey, you know, sometimes she, you just gotta get her what she wants so she's happy and she won't say nothing else. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> hey, chill out on them tires. Look at her. Can't even wait to I get sure home. Can't. I sure can't. We're not going home. So, we're going to our other house, y'all. But she still can't wait. Look at her. What it tastes like? Evan. Evan, you ain't made it third yet, girl. You don't know what that it tastes like. Good. Yeah, great. <laughs> Y'all, uh, we at Cheddar's right now, and Bae's eating, ooh, golden croissant. I'll let you have the big one. Okay, you know why? Why? Yes. Because you're the man of the house? That's part of the reason. What's the other reason? Because I'm Big Daddy. Boy. <laughs> Y'all, but we, uh, you know, eating Bae's uh, uh, Mother's Day croissant <laughs> and her Mother's Day dinner, y'all. Texas Roadhouse might have some competition. For real? Yeah, y'all, we had Cheddar's, man. I'm about to smash this. We'll let y'all know when that food come out. Okay. All right, y'all, and the food is almost gone. This is my last bite. So last bite? 
Are you taking the rest home? Are you? Yeah. Is my son full? Yeah. Me eating like this is the reason why I'm gonna be 8 p.m. at birth. <laughs> All right, you guys. So today was a very wonderful. It was a different type of day for me, to be honest. Shout out to my baby for making good things happen today because we celebrated my first, in quotation mark, first Mother's Day. Because as y'all know, like I literally have like a month left in pregnancy. And it's crazy because we went to our birth class today. We also went out to dinner and we just enjoyed each other's company and stuff like that. And um, apparently next week I'll be in my ninth month of pregnancy which is crazy but um i i woke up this morning and i was really like just in a i feel like i was kind of clouded not like in a bad way but like i was overwhelmed and stuff like that just because like just for me at this moment realizing that mother day mother's day actually applies to me now you know it's not just i send out my mother's day text to my friends and my family and stuff like that but it actually applies to me now. So it was just very, you know, very heartfelt for me. And if y'all don't know, y'all know I'm an emotional person. I said, if y'all don't know, y'all know I'm an emotional person. But if y'all don't know, I am very emotional and I'm very in tune with my emotions. So I was very emotional this morning, but um, I'm feeling pretty good now. I had a successful day. Um, I'm ex extremely excited that, you know, this is just like a part of motherhood and I'm so excited to see where this journey continues to go and I feel so blessed to be able to carry a child, to be carrying our son, like it's a blessing. And he was kicking the hell out of me this morning when it was time for me to get up this morning. It's just very, I don't know. And I want to thank everybody that told us, well told me Happy Mother's Day. It means a lot. Um, it's a blessing. Like, I don't even know. Like, I don't, sometimes I don't even have the words. Like, and this is one of those moments where I don't have the words all the way because it's just like, I'm just feeling right now. I just want to feel it. And I just want to understand how I feel. And yeah, and it's also going to be like, this is a very different year for both Dirk and I, you know what I mean? Because when it's time for Father's Day, he's going to be actually here. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Damn. What do you mean? I'm gonna be here, yeah, and I'm gonna be. Not, I'm not talking about you. Oh uh, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about baby. All right, baby. Because Father's here. Day is June the 18th. Damn soon. Yeah, and our due date is expected to be June 16th. If he's still in there by the end, by Father's Day, we got a problem. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but. But not necessarily. It's June June 16th is the due date, so you can go two weeks after the due date, right? We not doing that. Yeah, baby, she wants to get that baby out of y'all. We're going to make sure she's bouncing on balls and bouncing a whole bunch of other stuff so she can come out. Yeah, so that come out. we had 35 weeks today. So by the time 37 weeks rolls and comes in, I want to start taking the precautions to let's ease baby up out of here. Let's get them cervix soft. Let's get him effaced. I'm just playing. We would talk. We went to our birth class today, so I'm second, saying. Our second class. Yeah, we went to our second birth class today, so I'm over here saying words and stuff like that that we learned from our class. But I want to make sure that he's ready and that I'm ready by 37 weeks because, baby, but you know what's crazy? I keep saying 37 weeks, but 37 weeks is my birthday. And I keep telling y'all that I don't want him to be born on my birthday, which I'm fine with him being born in the same week, but not on my birthday. Very, very grateful. Um, I'm, I'm just like, I don't know. I'm huge. I'm ginormous. Should I show them? Mm -hmm. She's been five weeks today. And I feel overwhelmed at night time and sad when it's time to go to bed because I know that it's gonna be hard. But it's not gonna be any easier when he gets here. So I guess it's just prepare. Your dog will help you sleep. No, he don't. He makes it worse. <laughs> What he be doing all night? Jingling because he came, don't say still in the middle of the night, especially since we got a house, y'all. He want to know, he want to guide all the sections of the house. He be itching his little body and jingling around and stuff like that. So he be, we slept in his living room last night. We can't show y'all the living room just yet, but we slept in the living room last night. Why? I don't know. But <laughs> we slept in here just cause, and it was terrible. Y'all, that's the end of our night. 
Bay, I'm going to make sure she had a great day. And it seems like she she really did. So my mission's accomplished. That's all I really needed to do today. Make sure I told everybody, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out here. Single mothers that's making it happen. You know what I'm saying? And people that ain't got a mother Mommy with you. to be. And, all and happy Heavenly Mother's Day, y'all. So listen, we out of here. Until next time. Peace. On. Love.